See, look at we got arms. We must be real. Whoa, we are in space. Whoa. <laughs> Hello in there. Hey everybody, Chad Taylor here. It's September 12th, 2018, about 9 p.m. Seattle time. Uh, right about now, there is a hurricane, Hurricane Florence, going to make contact with the U.S. and the East Coast there uh, in with a within a matter of hours. So this video, I want to preface it by saying I've been praying for the people over there that there's no loss of life, that there's minimal property damage, um, this is pretty amazing, the amount of rainfall they talk about and everything else involved and the super high winds and all that. This video is discussing the footage that we're getting of the hurricane. So here I am on YouTube. I just typed in Hurricane Florence from space. Uh, here's the videos that pop up. I got turned on to this the other day, the subject, because I kept seeing news footage like this one here. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Ashley Beatty tracking what is now tropical storm Florence. It did weaken a bit overnight, winds down to 65 miles. Okay, I kept seeing news articles like this, news footage like this saying, hey, here's satellite images or here's images from space. And obviously these are computer generated stuff. This is not a real image. What would we expect to see? It's 2018. You know, we we're, we're, there's supposedly tons of satellites all around the Earth, some closer, some further. There are supposedly some amazing telescopes that are just flying bajillions of miles away that can turn around and take just uh, incredible pictures of Earth, supposedly. Like the one, what, two years ago where the moon went in front of the, uh, the Earth? You know, where is that thing taking pictures now? So my stance is in 2018, there should be be way more footage, especially live footage of Earth, high definition footage. And so it shouldn't, in my opinion, it should not be mostly CGI stuff. It should be footage, footage, footage. So let's look at the footage that there is. Go back up here. Let's just pick the first one here. Hurricane Florence from the International Space Station. So, but Chad, what do we have here? This is what we have. So why are you discussing this? Well, most of you guys probably already know this. You know, the technical name that people are using is called biblical cosmology. I like to say, what does the Bible say about Earth? How does the Bible describe Earth? A subject that I've been studying for the last few years. And I just saw a post about half an hour ago, somebody saying, hey, here, here's, uh, here's a picture from the ISS. You know, let's stop discussing this. Well, it's not that simple. Let me show you an example. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing this here. I want I want you guys first time I'm doing this. High altitude balloon video. 120,000 feet. The one trick is we have to understand what lenses are being used. It is a big deal. This one right here, for instance. Okay, from 2013 high altitude balloon 1080 HD 120,000 feet. This is great. I think that's a huge accomplishment. I've never put up a balloon like that. I think it's awesome. But watch this, okay? Let's see, at what point is this? Let's try to get to where it's about as high as it gets. If we set the speed to quarter, okay? So we're gonna watch the video at quarter speed. And I'm gonna pause it every so often. See the curve bowing upward? Bowing upward? Bowing, eh, bowing way more upward. You see the, okay, now it's relatively straight across there. Oh, now it's bowing upward. Now it's definitely curving upward. You see this right here? From here to here is bowing upwards. Now look at that. It's bowing downward just a hair. And then wait till it goes way up. Then it curves up and down and up and down and up and down. Up, oh, big curve. Oh, big curve. Whoa, look at the size of that curve now. Big, oh, look at that. It dipped way down now. It's extremely important for, for us to realize there is a very infantile thing that is going on. It's just with fisheye lenses. So this is probably a GoPro or one of those, a sport lens, where it's a really ultra super wide angle. It's called a fisheye. This is my ultra wide lens for my Canon that I'm using now. This is a 10 to 18 millimeter. This is considered an ultra wide lens. Even on a crop sensor camera like this, it's an ultra wide lens. It distorts 
on the extremes. It distorts, especially if you tilt it down, you tilt it up, it distorts. That's just what it does, but it captures a lot more uh, field of view. That's not even a fisheye lens. A fisheye lens is even wider than that, so you can capture a huge amount. There's like ring doorbells and uh, different things like that where they can capture, I think it's 180 degrees. I don't know if you can see this, but these posts here are straight. Most contractors and construction workers would do this deliberately, okay? But not, not whoever did this other one here. Oh my goodness. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? This contractor built this with bowed posts. How I can't believe they'd hire somebody that would do something like that. And yet there'll be people that'll say, hey, Chad, look at this. Come on, it's all settled. No, all you would need to accomplish this view is two things, height and a big fisheye lens. That's all you would need. I just thought of this as well, is as it goes up higher into the frame, the closer to the edge it gets, the more distorted it gets. So theoretically, if this were on like a 8K video, so you have your HD, you got your 4K, which is four times the size, and you got your 8K, eight times the size. So you're talking a huge image. So imagine a uh, image that is eight times this size. Say, say if the actual image of this was way out here, you know, you could really bow it down. You could distort it a lot. Our next tip is composition. Okay, My biggest out. piece of advice in composing your shots is to use wide angle lenses that show the whole room. Another important tip to good composition is to make sure your lines are straight. This will oh, how would your lines not be straight? Will help you avoid making the rooms look distorted with your wide angle lens. You mean they can become distorted with my wide angle lens? You don't want to be pointing too far down or too far up. But oh but rather keep your camera level so that all of your lines are straight. 15 millimeters on this lens, you're gonna get a sort of a bubble effect, but it's not exactly circular yet. You do get that sort of distortion, so if you're looking at a straight line, you're going to have it appear to be curved, and I'll show you guys the best I can in the test shots, but basically, it's never going to be a fully true representation of the image, uh, but to get that whole really wide angle, you do need it to have a little bit of a bubble effect. Let's pick a high altitude balloon that is not using a fisheye lens. You guys can see this. Here's the high altitude balloon. Shocking, Jesus truth, shocking. High altitude balloon shows flat earth uh, from 2017. I don't know how high this is. Wow, that's really high. Okay, let's just see. The one way to tell is, is the horizon bowing as it moves up and down, like we already saw. If it bows, then they're using a, you know, ultra wide or a fisheye. If it doesn't move, then it's a trustworthy. So right now I'm downloading that video onto my computer. So this is the video, brought it into Premiere, fast forwarded to uh, right about here is a decent place for it. Okay, let's see. I just wanna make sure the horizon isn't fluctuating. I don't see it bowing a bunch, you know, up and down like we noticed before as far as distorting. Here, hang on. My wife brought cookies. I married well. Mm. Oh, that's a good cookie. The moon yeah. is not a cookie. <gasps> Says who? Well, lots of people. Oh no. Yeah, they've studied it. They've they've looked at it through through long telescopes, and some people have actually been there. I think that's bullshit. Back to work. If I go up here to effects, I type in distort. Okay, see what pulls up here? Presets, lens distortion removal. Under that is DJI, which is a brand. Under that is the Phantom, which is a drone, 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 GoPro. We're all familiar with GoPros. And they have different selections. They got the 1080 medium, 1080 super view, 1440 wide, 720 medium super view wide. So the thing is, would be to know what something is recorded at. And so for instance, like the other one that was, uh, that we saw from shot in 2013, you could take his video clip, put it in here, 
and then you can get rid of the distortion with the preset for that camera and then it would bring it back to being what the actual view would be. So here, I wanna do the opposite. I wanna see what would a GoPro or one of these do to this image. We've already established that it doesn't look like this distorting up or down at all. Yes, you know, the sides, as the sides go up on this side and down because of things rocking like this, obviously. But we're not seeing it bow up, we're not seeing it bow down because they didn't use a fisheye, which is great. If you guys are doing any of these tests like this and sending something up in the sky, don't use a fisheye. For the sake of time, I sped this up. Now what I'm doing here is I applied that GoPro effect to that flat level horizon clip that you saw right here. And then I'm just messing with the curvature to see, can I take the GoPro settings and make it make a flat horizon look curved? And now here I've gone to uh, some images of what you know we call the ISS. And can I take their doohickeys, their arm and their other, whatever this other fake machinery is, and can I put, put that over the flat curved horizon that I made curve? And so here we are just copying those. And this is all fair use copyright stuff for review purposes here. And I put this image, this is in Photoshop. I take it out of Photoshop, put it back into Premiere, and I overlay the, you know, the ISS arm doohickeys over the top of the image, and voila. Believe me, right now, I feel like putting, like, whooshing sound effect. Should I do it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> okay, obviously they wouldn't put whooshing sound effects to this. One thing I gotta point out, the, the lighting would have to be changed as far as how it's spinning, how this is spinning, so the lighting would constantly change. So they would do a little bit more into it than this. This whole thing is just to show you that it's not a simple answer to any of this. So I took a flat level horizon video from a high altitude balloon from somebody on YouTube that showed a level plane. I was able to bring it into Premiere, distort it using GoPro uh, settings and tweaking it and getting it to where the curve looked nice. I was able to take these arms off of here, you know, and this doohickey, whatever it is, and put it in front of the image. But if you saw this image, you would think it was a space station. This was just an amateur with probably, I don't know, what, a few hundred bucks, 500 bucks, thousand bucks at the most, maybe more, I don't know. Not, not a whole lot of money. It was able to go up and get this footage. And so what do you think government agencies with billions and billions and billions of dollars are capable of doing? I mean, come on, all you gotta do is get high enough and have the appropriate camera gear with modern day spy planes that probably we don't even know about. I would assume you can get certainly high enough to get videos like we saw. Uh, also in post, you could take and you could do a mask right over here with a feather, a couple other techniques. This right here, this little, I heard in the comments, people talking about, would somebody please exit the capsule, remove that albino alien tapeworm from the camera lens. In my opinion, this is on purpose. This is not a mistake. This is a, you know, a, something to put on there to just like my image to make it look more real. There has to be something in there to give it more effect, to make it look more real. Like right over here, if you watch this, you can see a reflection that doesn't move. Right here, there's a reflection of some sort that was put there to make it look more real. I mean, this is my opinion. That's how I see this. I'm not a professional when it comes to video stuff. I'm not at all. I'm like a good beginner, <laughs> you know, with all this kind of stuff. There's people way more qualified than I am to, to go over this kind of stuff. But in my opinion, that's what we're seeing. And so, no, this doesn't prove that we are on a spinning ball flying through space. This proves 
that if you get high enough with a fisheye lens and some uh, uh, some ability in post production, like you saw me do, you could make this happen. So this doesn't prove anything. And I do want to say that uh, my thoughts and prayers are with everybody that's going to be impacted by this hurricane. But we're all praying for you. We're all hoping for the best for you. And we'll see you guys real soon. Chad Taylor, where are we? The book.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again. See you next time. Mm -hmm.